When it comes to fighting for indigenous rights, chances are you will find Victoria Lola Leon Guerrero on the front line. So much again of my my adult life has been, you know, speaking out against uh, further colonization of our island, further contamination and destruction of our land, um, and of course the further militarization of our lands before we as a people are able to really determine what we want for ourselves. And so um, I think that in order to keep our culture thriving, we have to be able to have a say in our future. And so uh, that's a huge reason that I'm a proponent of independence because I believe that it really is the only option that allows us the ability to shape what kind of future we have moving forward. And it allows us to um, design a government that really does give space and value to our own language and our own culture and our own history in our learning and in our understanding of self. Leon Guerrero has been involved with several Chamorro rights groups like Our Islands Are Sacred. Currently, she is the managing editor of the University of Guam Press, which has established Teguini Books, a series of cultural literature for adults and children. We've already published four children's books all in the Chamorro language that are very unique in the way in which they um, they use the narrative to really convey uh, our cultural values but also the way in which they don't conform to uh, sort of Western ideas of storytelling. Each story, Leon Guerrero says, contains lessons and are told in a way that if you grew up in the islands you would relate to. For so long the books that have been written about uh, Guam and Micronesia and the Chamorro people have largely been written by people who are not from our culture or not from um, even our islands, right? And so they're learning about our culture and they have an important perspective, but not nearly as important as our perspective. And so uh, really we've, we've made it our mission to uh, create a space for um, our people's stories to be printed and published as books. And most importantly, so that our children can read books uh, that they see themselves in, that they recognize themselves in. Leon Guerrero is also a writer. Once upon a time, she was a newspaper reporter. One of her assignments was to interview survivors of the Japanese occupation of Guam during World War II. Coming out of the experience of hearing their stories um, ignited in me a passion to really fight for the respect and dignity that our people deserve. That, you know, I realized at a very young age that, you know, they really had been um, caught in the middle of these two nations and subjected to horrific experiences and living through that war. And, you know, they didn't have to be, right? So it wasn't that the Chamorro people were at war, but they were the victims of these bigger powers at play. And so, um, kind of really understanding that at a young age um, really opened me up to seeing the other injustices that our people have experienced because of our colonization and so um, really a lot of my life has been dedicated to um, raising awareness about these parts of our history that are actually really kept from us, that I didn't necessarily learn in school, but that I learned from oral histories and from my own, like I said, obsession with our, our island and everything written. And the more and more I read, the more and more I listened and observed what was happening, uh, the more and more my voice developed. And I just wanted to uh, be a voice for those that cannot be a voice anymore, right? That, it, that are either not here or are unable to speak out. It's a voice she hopes our youth will also find within themselves. What I would encourage young people to do is to really be true to who they are and what they believe in and what they know about themselves, right? And about where they're from. You know, so much of what they consume on a daily basis is from someplace else, whether it be through popular culture or television or media or music, um, or in their classrooms, as I mentioned earlier, with predominantly, you know, American uh, textbooks or, you know, westernized notions of learning. 
uh, look to the things that they take pride in around them. This beautiful island that we've inherited, really, and let that be their inspiration. That, you know, being from Guam does not make them small or insignificant. In fact, it makes them very unique and, and powerful because of the richness of our culture. It's, you know, a, a nearly 4,000 year old culture and um, in particular, you know, when we think about what's been left to us, uh, we really have to fight for it, right? So we need to protect what remaining, you know, land that is pristine, right? Or the remaining uh, spaces where we can learn about our ancestors. These are things that we need to value and as young people visit and experience and therefore we will be more inclined to stop any threats to them.